Okay. There he is. Hi, Gary. I was zooming in on you. What are you working on today? Well, I've been working on this painting uh, showing depth. They've got a kind of a new paint that's real thick. I like to use a palette knife to build it up real thick with. Tree limbs and things like this. Mm -hmm. And after this all dries, this real thick stuff, then I start laying on paint layer after layer. I always work from dark to light. That way, uh, my darks behind the trees will make it look deep and dip. And you can just bring out the little subtle highlights. Hmm. In this case, the sun's coming straight down at us. So I've, I've got my shadows all in line with that way that sun goes. Uh, right now, I'm trying to tone down my animals. I want them to be in, in, in the mist a little bit more. And I'm working on an Indian. He's going to be hiding over here in the bushes, just checking everybody out. He's probably got a bow and arrow, but I'll probably just have him with a lance or a spear. He's going to be kind of cool. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, and you've been working on this one for a while, then, right? Yeah, since last year. <laughs> Sometimes you get an inspiration for a theme... As you know, as you start it, and then you set it aside, and then come back to it later, and you get inspired to put something else on it, right? Matter of fact, we've got to put 2010 on it because I worked on it in 2010. Every time I touch something, or I always work on five or six pieces at the same time. Almost wrote of 90. This is your first one, 2010, isn't it? I made a little painting this morning about it with a buffalo with wings on it. <laughs> and I call it buffalo wings and, then, wings, and then I have my little trike, ultralight airplane flying up above it. That's cool. I'll show it to you in the room. That's got the distinction, I guess, of being the first. <laughs> That's cool. Better straighten out the state of Idaho. I've been using the state of Idaho as a logo ever since Bev and I took my artwork back to Washington, D.C. And I re actually represented the state of Idaho back there. So, mm -hmm. And that was back in the 19, uh, 90, early 1990s? 93. Mm -hmm. Right after the publication of the book, uh, Stone by Stone on the Oregon Trail. And it was in conjunction with the 150th sesquicentennial of the Oregon Trail. That's why we did the book. One of the reasons we did the book. But, uh, anyway... I'm calling this just about done now, except for I'm going to work on the Indian, but I'm going to wait till tonight to do mm -hmm. this. So. You're going to name it? What do you think you're going to name it? <clears throat> no, we got a lot of critters in there. I'll let you name this one. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about your, uh, right next to you, the, the um, pile, of paint. pile of paint stuff that you do. Well, it's interesting you would ask. Look at this other Check one. Check out this pile of paint. 